Some time ago I did several videos about views upgrading. So now I had time and it is, I think it is the best time to automate views upgrade. I believe I will get several projects next year to upgrade views. So let's take a look. Uh, here's a real simple inventory. It has just one server called views using Ansible user, Ansible. And we'll go to the views. We will see it is now at three ones for 31. We have here playbook to upgrade views free one to four one, and it consists of two roles. The first role will update views to three one four thirty one, the recommended version for upgrade before upgrading views to four one, and the second role will upgrade views to four one zero ten. So because our or my views is already at this version, it will not update it, it just go forward to upgrade. <clears throat> Let's start it and see if it works. Views upgrade, upgrade views. How did it called? Views minus upgrade. It will take some time. So you see it's already updated, so it doesn't do anything with update. It starts upgrade. And if it works, we'll have some time to look into the role. There we go. So it goes further. That looks everything good. OK. This is the role, and it has just very few files in it. So defaults, these are default variables, which are defined. It's uh, HDisk is not defined. Uh, it will stop if there is no HDisk to upgrade. We will need HDisk. Uh, NFS server is our name server, where we have export MCASSB with all MCASSBs. And of course, we have their official MCASSB, which we use to upgrade our VIO server. And our target level is 41010. So now we have tasks. Tasks main. And let's look for it, what it does. So first of all, it take, uh, gets the version of views, current iOS level. And if it is already upgraded, it just ends. Nothing to do. So we need to update facts we need to get information about all our devices to find out if we can install our mcasb into onto hdisk so if we found hdisk everything is good if we don't uh, if, we, if we didn't found hdisk so state is not available when we finishes when we finish the playbook because we have no hdisk to install all the, to install mcasb after we found the playbook, we uh, sorry. After we found the H disk, we need to clean up it to prepare it. So we create file list with some configuration files we want to preserve on the future MCASSB, uh, on the future views after the upgrade, and we create post upgrade script. Uh, we will look into it after after it after the playbook. Mount NFS repository with our MCASSB. Check that MCASSB exits. So if it doesn't exist, so we up we abort our upgrade because we can't upgrade if we don't have MCASSB. But uh, and on this stage we are ready to perform upgrade. So I found out that my images had some SDD PCM drivers, which prevents or prevent uh, upgrade to be done automatically automatically so it will stop and ask for confirmation if i have these uh, file sets because these are anyway x7.2 file sets i remove them and if i need them later i can install them into in post upgrade script so i remove old logs views upgrade logs in case it was upgraded from uh, views to uh, 226 to free one or it was some uh, failed attempt to upgrade, upgrade, to upgrade before. 
we just uh, make sure that uh, the files are not there. And we started VOS upgrade. So, and here's uh, something what is, I don't understand. I think it's some bug here in this VOS upgrade module. So as you see, I, I say wait to reboot true. So, and as far as I understand the documentation, it means that uh, VOS upgrade task will work and wait till VOS is up and running and upgrade is finished and then it will continue. So in all my tests, it doesn't matter if I set here true or false or something else, it's just started with a subgrade command and it, that's it. And it goes for, that's why I have here wait till the use is up. So we started, we are uh, we waiting till the use connection is available again. But uh, there is several differences. Uh, we had VOS 3.1 before, and it had Python in opt freeware bin Python. So now we have, at this point, when VOS upgrade is finished, we have another Python. We have Python in user bin Python 3. So it means we need to change Ansible Python interpreter here. And uh, even if VOS is up and running, it doesn't mean that VOS upgrade is finished. So we need to find uh, to wait till in views upgrade status log completed is inside you know, in this log again with new Python and Demeter. And we will when we see completed there, then views upgrade is finished and we can do something else. So now back to the post upgrade script. So I see here we use post upgrade script. The problem is I'm using official MCASSB image. Official and CASSB image has no users except root and pay admin and some system users. So it doesn't have Ansible user in it. If I do upgrade, my Ansible user will be will be removed after the upgrade. So and I cannot connect anymore to the system. So it means I have to create Ansible user again during or after the upgrade. So that's why I use a post upgrade script to create Ansible user, as you see here. So it's just is a script, accept license, create user Ansible, set the password for user Ansible, create SSH and add SSH key, my SSH key into authorized keys. That's it, no more. So let's take a look how it's working and if it is working at all. So it is we waiting till, till the use is up. You can see here, I think it is just upgrade view, start view, upgrade. What I told you before. So, uh, and the next day, uh, step, wait till views is up, was started after uh, 19 seconds after this. So, this task was just 19 and a half second long. So, and you, you can understand that upgrade cannot be so fast in 19 seconds. <laughs> Uh, but let's wait. It will take approximately uh, 10 to 15 minutes. I will cut it from the video, but anyway, you will see here the time it would take. By the way, I hope you read the wonderful article of uh, Jackie Lynch regarding views upgrade in Tech Channel. And you can get there some uh, <clears throat> information what you could do in post upgrade script. So what everything you should do during VOS upgrade or VOS update anyway, and what can you add into this automation procedure? And now it is ready with upgrade. You see, it took 12 minutes, almost 13 minutes the whole upgrade <clears throat> and it's finished and the whole procedure took okay so you see here 14 minutes we hold the use upgrade we fall with everything this is the most the longest task and now it is upgraded so we can check it 
Okay, except licenses. And we have the newest version of Fios. That's it. I hope it helps you to automate your upgrade procedures and you will have fun with it. See you later. I completely forgot to edit to the video. That's why I'm doing it after it. So there will be IBM Tech Exchange email in Barcelona in three weeks approximately, in 20th of January. And I will be there. And if you have any questions, if you want to ask me something, or uh, if you want to know more, please come and join me at IBM Tech Exchange EMEA in Barcelona. I hope to see you there.